Hello, and welcome back to the UKPF Extra channel. Very recently, an article and photograph was published on the Wigan Today website, which appears to be the webpage for local newspapers, the Wigan Observer and the Wigan Post. The headline reads, Woman captures bizarre, tiny humanoid on camera. The article is short and to the point and begins, In her own words, Melissa Braham from St Helens recalls, It was my birthday recently, and as a gift I received a new smartphone. On Friday, February 26th, seeing as it was a nice day, I decided to take my dog for a walk in the afternoon. I also took my new phone to test out the camera. During the afternoon, I took several short video clips and a selection of random photographs at different resolutions. Later on in the evening, I uploaded the photography to my PC to have a look at it. It was whilst looking through the still photos that I spotted on one of them what appears to look like a tiny humanoid shaped figure walking from right to left. Let's take a look at the picture and we'll start with the original. Your eye may be drawn off to the left of the photo, but there appears to be something small off to the side, which, when we enlarge, looks like this. Pretty remarkable, right? The article goes on to cover more basic information. The picture was taken at full resolution with a 12 megapixel camera set fully to automatic. No zoom was used. The precise location of the photo was in between the entrance to Victoria Park and the now demolished healthcare centre on Cowley Hills Lane in St Helens. The article states that Melissa did not see the object or creature at the time and is not claiming that it is a living creature, only that when she examined the photos afterwards did she spot this and that it does have the resemblance of a tiny alien creature. And that's about right. We do in this picture have the appearance of something roughly of that description. There appears to be a head, body and at least one arm, legs and feet and of course an eye, which is probably the feature that makes this look so realistic and humanoid. There is a shadow too, suggesting that something was physically in place. Melissa is quoted as saying she is going to reach out to some experts for their analysis and that she accepts it might be that she caught something on photo that is non-paranormal. Like some rubbish caught at a completely random angle, and it may well just be the case that whatever this was just has the appearance of a tiny humanoid alien. One researcher has already suggested to her that the creature looks to be in two dimensions, and lacks some details. To me, when I look at it, it certainly appears like it could be two-dimensional and the absence of a mouth or nostrils, given the other visible features, is a little unsettling and might be a clue that it is non-humanoid. So to summarise, there are a limited number of options. The first option is that Melissa perpetrated a hoax. The second option, that Melissa took a photo of something very earthbound that simply appears to be a tiny alien humanoid in the photo. The third option is that some other person or persons left a representation, be it a two-dimensional cutout or a toy in situ, and this is what got photographed, whether that was intentional or not. And the fourth option is, it actually is a tiny humanoid. In regards to option one, it would be impossible to know for sure, but in reading the article and the quotes attributed to Melissa, my gut instinct is that she is being sincere and is trying to share this photo and be honest about the details of what took place. As I said, I can't be sure, but that is my gut instinct, that for her part at least, this is not a hoax perpetrated by her. In regards to option two, this seems the most likely option to me, although it is very difficult to ascertain exactly what might have been photographed. If you stare at the head, 
it does start to look like it might be flat, but that doesn't really help my brain unscramble what else it might be. If I were a betting man, and had been able to follow up soon afterwards, I would suspect something was just lying around, perhaps some rubbish, and Melissa just snapped it at precisely the right time and precisely the right angle to capture this photograph, or wrong time and angle depending on your perspective. Option 3. What I don't like about this option is the notion of who on earth would assume someone else would be walking down that lane with a camera and would capture this photo, or a similar photo, and not spot the object or toy in real time and not come over for a closer look. So as far as deliberate hoaxes go, the chances of pulling it off seem remote. This option seems to require no one else coming along and spotting that something was left out. So perhaps it was a child's toy that fell from a pram or a dog's toy and was later retrieved. A quick Google search didn't bring up anything that looks very close to this, but despite that, I think we have to retain this option as a possibility. And option four. I quoted my gut in regards to option one, and if I were to follow those same instincts again, I suspect this is actually not a tiny humanoid. I don't know why, but my gut doesn't always fill in the blanks, that's just my instinct. Obviously, the actual probability would bear out these instincts. That being said, this photo did remind me of another photo I saw about a decade back, which sets a precedent for the photographing of a tiny humanoid. I purchased, and seem to have misplaced, Timothy Good's book, Unearthly Disclosure, and in it he published photographs from an Italian source, Filiberto Caponi, of this humanoid. I do not recall all of the details and do not wish to misquote the story, but from my hazy recollection, I think the being was supposed to be extraterrestrial and suffering, presumably from burns. I believe the creature was said to have been somewhat immobile, and Filiberto touched it with his foot, which later turned black in colour. I don't recall more than that, and a cursory Google search has not been my friend in that regard on this story, other than to confirm that the photo was taken in 1993. But Timothy Good is a well-respected author and did check Filiberto and his story out and felt it worthy of inclusion in his book, so I thought it was worth a mention too here. Anyway, what do you think of Melissa's picture? Do you think it was a tiny humanoid, potentially of extraterrestrial origin? Or was it a hoax or misidentification of some kind? If you have enjoyed this video and discussion, please click the like button. And why not give it a share on social media too? I have two channels now, this one and UK Paranormal Files. A button to subscribe should appear on screen in a moment. So if you haven't already, why not give them both a subscribe? And if you do, don't forget to turn on notifications so that you will be notified when new episodes go live. And as always, all that's left for me to say is, thanks very much for watching.